What? You haven't subscribed to the story, Painter. You know it's fun, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but why not give it a try? The only thing you have to do is hit the subscribe button and ding the bell to get notified when we post an upload. Thank you so much and enjoy the video. They've sure been here for a while. Mm hmm What do you think they're, uh, checking out right now? I know they've seen the blood and everything. I'm probably trying to find any more evidence with, like, uh, fingerprints and such, you know. Right, right. Where'd Boppo go? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. Um, so I know in a couple of minutes they're gonna come over and question us. So just uh -huh. remain chill. Alright. As long as you don't seem suspicious, then they're not gonna, you know, suspect anything. Mm. I look suspicious already. I mean, look at me. Just tell them that you had a major shopping cart incident where they dented your forehead. Okay. But I think this is the better, uh, the better solution than the last time, Requis. The last time we had, you know, a, uh, situation. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Not a big fan of uh, interrogations and such, so... Why is that? Mm, it just gets me a bit nervous, you know. Kind of put on the spot. Do you have something to hide, Requees? Yeah. What do you have to hide? I have ten packs of uh, illegal ammunition at my house. <sighs> okay. This is why you don't do stuff like that. I mean... Uh, Whatever. We just gotta wait for the officers to come over. Yeah, they're right there. Oh! Hello! Hello. We've double-checked the crime scene. It seems there was a struggle in between the freezer and getting outside. Okay. So we would just like to ask a few questions, if that's all right. Certainly. Do you want to take a seat, or...? Uh, I'm okay standing. Do you need to go over your rights first, or are you aware of your rights? I played the fifth. Requies, yes, we're aware of our rights. Okay. Well, I'll let my colleagues ask the questions, then. All right. First off, where were you at the time of the crime scene? Uh, I was downstairs. We were working on some uh, some of the business stuff for the place. We've been trying to reopen. Um, yeah, we were just sitting downstairs. I haven't been upstairs for maybe two hours or so. Mm hmm. And what time would you say this took place? Uh, it would have been. I think it was a couple hours ago when we found it. So I think. 11-ish? I don't remember the exact minute. Good to know. How many bodies would you say you found? We didn't find any bodies. Oh. Wait then, were those all props or something? The skeletons? Oh, the skeletons in here, yeah. Those are just Halloween props that we haven't taken down yet. Oh, okay. We tried looking for a body, but we didn't see anything. Who was here at the time of when the incident occurred? It would have been myself, it would have been Steve here, Requees, and then another employee, Bobo, but I'm not sure where he is. Was there anyone else in the building that had entered or exited the building at any time during the crime scene? Or before you noticed it? During it, there was an employee named uh, Chef Earl, his last name was Linguini, and we were upstairs, we looked around, we didn't find a body, and then he came in, and we, he usually doesn't come in at night at all, but then he walked in, and I told him just take the day off, because it's kind of weird for him to be here. Hmm. And that's his full name? His full name is Earl Informatione Linguini. Alright. 
And what is this Bapo's person full name? It's just Bapo. I don't know his last name. Hmm. What about the any, chef? You oh. would there be any reason you would have to suspect this chef Earl Linguini? Specifically, that the freezer was usually locked. I didn't have access. Bapo didn't have access. These two wouldn't have access. The only person that had access to that was Earl. Um, he boarded it up, and then when we came up, the boards were gone. The place was unlocked. And then we checked the dumpster area, and there was a kitchen knife there that I presume is from our kitchen. I'll head over and check the dumpster. Would you know of your chef's whereabouts? Where is he? He would be back home. Do you know his address? Anything like that? Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, I gotta think of the papers. Um, it would be 83, I think, it, I think it's Candlemore Street. All right, good to know. After this, we'll, have, we'll head over to his house, see if he knows anything. Okay. We will also be taking the evidence with us to analyze it, just in case we find fingerprints. Of course. What about you in the back? You've been huh? silent. Are you usually here at night? Uh, yeah, I'm the janitor, so I clean up uh, usually at night. Have you seen anything odd? Mm, no, not really. Where were you specifically during the crime? Uh, I was with Josh. I was hoping it was such stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can confirm. He was with me the entire time. He was uh, just chilling downstairs. I was working on stuff. We may want to take him for further questioning, just in case. Uh, okay. I found something concerning at the dumpster scene. At the very bottom of the dumpster, there was a limb there. Oh. And some flesh. All right. Anything else? No, just some... Mis it didn't look very big. It was only one limb, just like one arm. Let's take it to the station, see if we can identify who it is. Okay, I'll go grab it. Is there any other questions that you need to ask us, or...? You said the place was closed, correct? So there would be no children, or... No, there wouldn't be anyone. We usually lock the doors. Um, no one's permitted on the premises. That clears that up, then. So we should take him, just for extra questioning, just in case you can follow us. Alrighty. That'll be fine, Rigwise. Uh-huh. Am I just supposed to stay here, or...? It would be best if you didn't tamper with any of the evidence, so you should probably go home. Well, let's say that I am currently homeless and that this is the only place. Then just don't go near the crime scene, at least, for now. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just go back to the basement, and I'll let you do your work. Okay. Well, that's, uh, over with. How did they not notice me? I don't know. You s a lot of people seem to not take notice. Right. Steve, was there any particular behavior that Earl exhibited in college? Um, the light paranoia. Paranoia, eh? Alright. I think we should check on... I think all the animatronics... All the animatronics are off, right? I think so. Hopefully. Okay. Make sure that all of them are off. I really don't want any authorities suspecting them. Yeah, I think all of them are off. So what do we do now? Do we just... I think we just sit down here, or... 
I guess. I guess it's just a creepy feeling knowing that, you know, someone that you work with is a potential suspect for a murder. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Ah, uh, we're downstairs! Alrighty. I'm coming down, so... Okay! I think that was Henry. Um... Steve... What? Is there anything particular I should know about you and your friends? Um... Other than the fact that... Uh... You don't really obey... Resistance? How much? No. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see... Oh, Henry, how are you? Uh, good, I guess. Um, I heard what happened. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> um... Do you know who did it? At all? Why don't you come take a seat? Um, alrighty. Here, take a seat on the couch. Let's just say that... We were all down here, and we go upstairs, and there's just a trail of blood. And was it was it him? Did we catch him at all? Was it I, a person? I I, I don't think, think no, I don't think it's him because from what I've been told over how many years is that you know he's very clean with his work. Right, like there is, there is, there was a piece of cloth that was torn in the door. There was a blood, full on blood trail outside of the dumpster. Mm -hmm. Like if it, 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 it wouldn't be the person that you're referring to because he would think of much more clever ways to hide a corpse. Damn it, you're right. I thought maybe we would have gotten lucky, but I guess not. Lucky. Maybe he messed up at the moment and freaked out, so maybe. I don't is, know. Is, is, you know, people getting murdered lucky? No. It's not lucky, but I thought maybe we would have caught him playing and sight in the motion. <sighs> I hate to tell you this, Henry, but we're quite suspicious of Earl. Earl? Yeah. I mean... What could he do? He's just a chef. There was a knife found by the dumpster, Henry. It was one of ours. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's, um, not good. He's the only one that had access to the freezer, and that's where the blood trail began. Hmm. I mean, just keep a close eye on him. I don't know what else to say. Depends. I think the police are going over to his place now. Hopefully he's still there, and they'll take him in as a suspect. They they took request for further questioning. Okay. Probably because he's here most of the night. That makes sense. He cleans all night, so I mean... Makes yeah. sense. I just want to know where Bapo went to. Hmm. I don't think it was him, but... I don't know why, where he dipped. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go for now. But, um, if anything else happens, please make sure to call me. Um, okay. Alrighty. Henry, do we have a lead on him? No, we don't. No, we don't. That's why I rushed, that's why I came here so quickly. There's two other things in the end. Well, one other thing I need to ask you. Mm -hmm. What is the uh, status for finding the last of my friends? We're still working very hard on it. <sighs> I mean, we've gotten most of everyone back, but... We're still missing the main attraction. I don't know. We're, like I said, we're working very hard to find them, but we haven't found any luck yet, so... Okay. Well, there's only so much you can do, I suppose. Yeah. All right. All right.
Take it easy. On my, you too. Be safe. And we'll try. Alright. Goodbye. Alright, see you. Steve, why do you have all that cake? Help. What do you mean, help? Uh, it, I don't know where they came from, nor where the plant came from, it just appeared. Alright, thank you. Farewell. I'm heading to my office, just so I'm probably going to pull an all-nighter, just in case the police call. Stand guard over the animatronics, I don't want them waking up for a little bit. Thank you. Welcome. Um, my head is absolutely pounding. This is an absolute nightmare. Think for one moment. Think for one absolute moment I could actually get a break. No. There's so much. There's still so much to do. Let's just hope that they can question Earl and... The other day, I just hope everything's cleared. 